Be sure to participate in the New Year's giveaway. I'll be giving away one play map from the Swamper EX Premium Collection Box and five of the Battle Production Business Cards. One for you and four for your friends. All you need to do is like, subscribe for the results video, and comment up to 30 times. The comment can be anything about the cards I pull or just the numbering in the comment section of 1 to 30. And do not do any more than 30 comments, otherwise you automatically get disqualified if your comment gets picked. This will be chosen by a random comment generator. And yeah, this giveaway is only for US citizens unfortunately because it's a little expensive to go outside the US and I just don't have the money to do that. Anyways, good luck and here is the New Year's opening. Hey guys, it's the Battle Productions and welcome to our New Year's special and today we're going to be opening up four premium collection Pokemon boxes. And yes, we got ourselves a Mega Swampert, Mega Beedrill, Mega Garchomp, and a Mega Salamence. So yes, <laughs> so these are pretty expensive boxes, especially the Swampert, and altogether I paid about $200-ish in order to get all this stuff, and yeah, kind of a different kind of opening because you don't really see many different premium collection boxes being opened in one video. But anyways, let's get going here. Okay guys, so we opened up all the boxes. So we have the Swampert uh, packs right here, Mega Garchomp here, Mega Salamence here, and Mega Beedrill here. So in total, we have 30 booster packs. This has eight, 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 and then six. So, yeah, so let's just go over all the promo cards first and the, you know, all the coins and pins and stuff. So let's make sure that focuses. All right, there you go. So there is the Mega Swampert and then we got the cards here. We have that focus. There we go. So we got the Swamper EX with Mud Flood and Hydro Tackle. And then the Mega Swamper EX with Strong Garm Impact. Then we have the Garchomp stuff. So here is the Garchomp coin. So there's that. And then we have the Garchomp Spirit Link. Garchomp EX with Shred and Hyper Beam. And then, I forgot to pick this up, Mega Garchomp EX with a Crimson Edge. So yeah, that's really cool. And then we got the Sal Salamence pin, or coin here, which looks really cool. I like the design of this coin. We got, okay, I keep dropping cards here. Haha. <laughs> okay, we got the Salamence Spirit Link, and uh, Salamence EX with the Beastly Fang and the Dragon Strike. And then we have the Mega Salamence EX with the Savage Wing. So yes, all these cards are really, really cool. I'll put them in top loaders later, but as of right now, I just want to show off the cards. Here's the Beedrill coin. I just realized it's like very colorful and shiny. I, I really like this. I, I was just looking at it before, just pulling it out. I'm like, huh, that's kind of cool. But no, when I look at it closer, it just looks really neat. Then we got the Beedrill Spirit Link. We got Beedrill EX with Double Scrapper, Pin Missile, and then Mega Beedrill EX with the Hazard Stinger. Then it also came with a pin right here. So that's a really cool pin too. So now, what I'll do is that we're gonna go from left to, left to right and we'll do the, uh, we'll do Swampert's packs first and we'll move all these off to the side a little bit. There we go, and then I'll move all the promo cards. And yeah, then we can get started with the opening. So yeah, I'm really, I was really looking forward to doing this opening. I mean, I had a few boxes come in today. I had to do Saturday shipping in order to get these boxes here because it was kind of last second. I'm like, huh, that'd be kind of cool if I did a uh, four premium collection box opening for New Year's. So that's why I, uh, that's why I'm doing it for New Year's, just because I thought it'd be really cool. But anyways, let's pull out the packs here. So this was about $200 worth, all these packs all together. But basically, I didn't pay that much money. 
mainly because of the fact that, well, I had a bunch of Christmas money and I decided to use it on the YouTube channel to get a bunch of great cards to open for the channel. So anyways, first pack of the Swamper EX box, we got a Bunnelby, Lotad, Metatite, Bidoof, Horsey, Groudon Spirit Link, Nidorina, Celio, Nose Pass Reverse, and a Hollow Milotic with the Sparkling Ripples and Aqua Swirl. So we'll put it up in a sleeve real quick and then we'll get to the next pack. But wow, that was a really nice pull. Especially when you know that you see right there, it evolves from a Phoebus. And Phoebus is an excellent card. <laughs> Actually, not really. But I like to make it an excellent card. At least that's my opinion. And yeah, I got a lot of Phoebus from that Flashfire booster box opening. Well, that's not really a booster box, it's it's equivalent to a booster box, but it's a, uh, it's actually 36 loose packs, but I got quite a few Phoebus, and I liked it, so, <laughs> whatever. So, we'll do the pack trick, three and two, and now, we got a Shroomish, Sfeel, a Mudkip, a Phoebus, can we get two Phoebus one pack? I don't know, Slugma, Rare Candy, Electric, in Silent Lab, Beedrill Reverse, which is a rare, and the rare is a Macargo Ancient Trait. So nothing real special there, and I kind of just noticed something. Like, look at the cards, they're really bad. I mean, it's probably because they were sealed in the box for so long. Wasn't my Lodic like that? A little bit, I don't know. But yeah, that kind of is unfortunate, but you know, it is an older box, so cards tend to, like, they, they, they bend over time, I guess. They do wear down a little bit. But anyways, nothing real special, other than my Lodic Hollow so far, Let's see if we can keep it going. That'd be really cool if we can get something great out of this breakthrough. Maybe, just maybe an Octillery. That'd be extremely cool. But anyways, we got an NK, Pancham, Panseer, Vanillite, Panpour. We got a lot of things with Pan in front of it. Judge, Town Map, Buddy Buddy Rescue, Ralts Reverse, and the rare is a Braviary. So nothing good out of that pack, but whatever. And it looks like, okay, so it looks like we sandwiched the Roaring Skies. I just, I didn't even realize that. But now we have a Roaring Skies pack right here. Can we get the Shaman? This would be the perfect time to get the Shaman. But most likely we won't. Because with my luck with Roaring Skies, I've really been awful with it. The last time I was real lucky with it was way back in my Elite Trainer box opening. But that was about it. NK, Cascoon, Meowth, Binacle, Gligar, Togetic, Healing Scarf, very good card. Dragonair, okay, Rayquaza Spirit Link Reverse. That, I think that might be worth something. It's particle. Cool. And the rare is a, okay, it's an Articuno with that Find Ice uh, attack. So that, that uh, attack right there, Find Ice, I see so many water decks use that, mainly because it makes it so you can search your deck uh, for energy, uh, yeah, for water energies, and dang, for water decks, yeah, that's just, that's scary. Because my online deck happens to be a fire deck, so, yeah, when I see that, I'm thinking, oh, crap, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Mainly because of the fact that that thing's showing up, and I, it, it's scary. It's, yeah, when, when, when they have all those energies, usually it's like a Greninja deck or something, and I just get so frustrated. But anyways, we got a Cacnea, Snover, Faroki, Zorua, Chespin, Heavy Ball, Snorlax, Stunfisk, Lodestone Reverse, that has to be somewhat valuable, and the rare is a Marowak, so I'll put that uh, Floatstone off to the side. So we haven't gotten a single EX yet, that's kind of unfortunate, but you know, we still have three packs. So maybe Ancient Origins can give us a Hoopa. That'd be extremely cool if we got a Hoopa. Hoopa is probably the most valuable of that set. But, you know, here, you take a code card. I, you know, I haven't given any yet, so might as well give a couple. So, yeah, there's that. Come on, I'm feeling something good. I don't, I don't know, that's just me, though. Eevee, Persian, Relicanth, Porygon, Golurk, Ace Trainer, Metang, Hexmaniac, Oddish Reverse, and... Oh, baby! Mega Ampharos EX! Man, I really felt that card coming. Holy cow! So yes, Mega Ampharos with that Exa Volt. Very, very good card. You may do 50 more damage and leave your opponent's Pokemon paralyzed. If you do, you do 30 damage to yourself. That is a very cool card. Not very valuable, but I really do like the card. I'll put it in the top loader real quick. Make sure that gets in there right away. Of course, I can't get it on camera. All right, there we go. Maybe. There we go, perfect. That was awesome. I'm going to put that off to the side right there. 
There we go, first EX of the box. That was a great pull. Ancient Origins coming in clutch. Maybe it's some maybe it's telling me something that my Ancient Origins booster box might have the goods in it too. I don't know, it's possible. Okay, let's see. Can we keep Ancient Origins going with some excellent luck? You never know. So we'll do the card trick real quick. Come on, Ancient Origins, give me something else too. That'd be really cool. Baltoy, Ralts, Larvesta, Golurk, Wooper, Paint Roller, Ariados, Ace Trainer, Blossom Reverse, which is an uncommon, and the rare is an Entei, which is not a bad Entei because it has Burning Roar. Discard the top four cards in your hand, or not in your hand, in your deck, and if they are energy cards, attach them to any Pokemon in any way you like. I see that quite a bit on Pokemon Trading Card Game Online as well. All right, final pack of the Mega Swampert box. Come on, focus. There we go. All right. Let's see. Can we get the Shaman? I think this is the only box with Shaman Boost, or not Shaman Booster packs. That'd be crazy if there were Shaman Booster packs. No, Roaring Skies. Come on, Roaring uh, Skies. Come on, give me something good. I guess uh, Mega Rayquaza has been going up in value too, which is really interesting as well. Maybe that'd be cool if we got one of those too. Uh, Inkay, Togepi, e e <laughs> Execute, Natu, Fletchling, Togetic, Fero, Fletchinder, Skyfield Reverse, okay, that's a pretty valuable trainer card as well, at least I think it is, is it? I'm pretty sure it is. And the rare is a Togekiss. Alright, so we got in total one EX and one Hollow card. In fact, you know what, I'll just bring all of it out. So, here's this, okay, so we got a Skyfield Reverse, I'm not sure if it's extremely valuable, but I think it is. Floatstone Reverse, which is a really cool card. It used to be valuable, but I'm not sure if it is uh, reverse-wise. We got a Milotic Hollow, and then a Mega Ampharos. So we were below the pull ratios in terms of one in every three packs for a, uh, for a Hollow card and stuff. But that's okay. I mean, these aren't like fixed booster boxes. The thing is with these boxes that since there's no fixed pull rates, you could get more EXs or you can get less EXs or more holo cards or less holo cards. You know, it just depends. But, you know, I, it, it's a little unfortunate we didn't get anything else out of that, but that's okay. So now it is time for the Mega Garchomp box. Here we go. And we're going to start with X and Y base set. The last time I've opened up X and Y base set was, oh man, that had to be like my first opening. I don't think I've opened up any more base set after that. But I didn't get anything special out of it, mainly because I bought them off of Amazon. They were all weighed. And I didn't know you could weigh packs at the time, but eh, whatever. Fire Energy, Froakie, Skitty, Shelder, Fletchling, Super Potion, Herdier, Great Ball, Girder Reverse, and a Mega Blastoise EX with that Hydro Bomb Bard. Oh, baby! So it's the same one as XY uh, Evolutions. In fact, this is the exact, yeah, it's an exact duplicate. But still, very, very cool card. And yeah, let's just get this in the top loader. So right off the bat, this box is providing us with the goods. And I like that. Come on, really? There we go. So there it is, Mega Blast Noisy X. A great way to start. And I'm surprised we got something out of XY base set. I believe that was the harder set to pull some EXs out of. So that was really cool. Anyways, now it's time for Steam Siege. If it'll open, that's that's the real question here. Oh man, it's gonna open up. Okay, you know that's annoying. <laughs> All right, I'll just pull this off off screen. This is annoying. Whatever. Okay, so here's the code card. Okay, it's upside down. There you go, Steam Siege. And now it is time for the card trick. It was a green code, so it doesn't mean we're gonna get a hollow card or an EX. So let's hope for a break. That'd be pretty cool. Merrill, Ponyta, Dino, Litwick. Nosepass, Persian, Rapidash, Ninja Boy, Spirit Tomb Reverse Rare, and a Jump Luff. Okay, so it is time for Breakthrough. Come on, Octillery, I'm summoning you. Please show up. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind that or even a Secret Rare <laughs> Mewtwo EX, but that's asking for too much. So let's see. Oh man, we got a Chespin, Wubat, Rufflet, Another chestpin. Oh, we can get three chestpin one pack. Ooh. Oh, we got three chestpin one pack. What? We got every single chestpin. Okay, can we get a reverse? If we get a reverse, that's four chestpin one pack. I want that to happen. Come on. Make it happen. Make it happen. 
Darn. Okay, we still got three in one pack. In fact, let me pull those out. That's awesome. So that's one, there's one, and there's one. So let's take a look at these. Okay. So, yeah, three chest bins with three different arts. That is something. That That's a really good pack right there. You could say that's a pretty mediocre pack, but three chest in one pack, that is something special you don't see very often. It would have been awesome if we got four in one pack. Hey, really, Steam Siege? You're really not going to open up for me? This is really unfortunate. Okay. Let's see. Let's just... All right. Okay. So, let's do the pack trick. All right. We got a Drifloon, Larvesta, Apom, Yanma, Mankey, Tangrowth, Gardevoir Spirit Link, Lampet, Mantine Reverse, which is a common, okay? And the rare is a Jump Off. Yeah, we got a Jump Off rare last time. Ah, whatever. Break points! This is a great pack. Great, great set. I absolutely love this set. Because of its very good tool cards and has some very good EXs. So let's see, can we get something special out of this pack? That'd be cool if we got a Greninja Break too. <laughs> Temple, Chikorita, ah, uh, Adam and Ampharos, ah, uh, Gibble, Glameow, Phantom, Durant, Bursting Balloon, that is a very good card, Puzzle of Time, that's a very good card, C Dot Reverse, and Eradicate with Antibodies. Okay, so, now we have three packs left, oh, it looks like we have Primal Clash in this one too, you know what, we'll do Evolutions last, we'll do Primal Clash now, okay, Primal Clash, That'd be cool if I got something out of you. I don't think I have a single EX from Primal Clash. But maybe for good luck, here's a code. There we go. Card trick. Come on. That'd be cool if we got, like, a Primal Pokemon or something. But you never know. Let's see. Tentacool, Torchic, Hippopotas, Surskit, Barboach, Bouflant, Energy Retrieval. Very good card. Celio, Gorbis, Reverse Uncommon. And the rare is a Probo Pass. So... That's unfortunate, we didn't get anything out of that. But, oh wow. Ah, Primal Clash. He doesn't love me. Evolutions! A pack, well, a, a set that really does like me. Okay, really? No, this one's not opening. What the? Oh my gosh. Do I really have to open up these from the bottom? Okay, I guess I am. Oh, what the? Okay, this opened up so weird. Okay, well. <laughs> that was really awkward. <laughs> okay, card trick. Three and two, EX, something, please, anything. Hey, Pikachu, Doduo, Ponyta, Nidoran Male, Seal, Super Potion, Double Carless Energy, Professor Oak's Hint, a Super Potion Reverse, and the rare is a Venusaur EX with that Poison Powder and Jungle Hammer. Oh, baby. So, Evolutions, like I said, has always loved me for some reason, and it keeps continuing. So, I'll put this in a top loader. Maybe. All right, there we go. There we go. It's in there. Sweet. So we got two ex two EXs out of this uh, box here. So far, so good. Can we keep this up with this last pack of evolutions? Come on, evolutions. Can you keep the luck going? Oh, there we go. That one opened up kind of awkwardly, but it worked. Okay, so we'll do three and two. And now... We got a Ponyta, Nidoran Male, Seal, Diglett, Poliwag, Maintenance, Brock's Grit, Super Potion, Sanchu Reverse, and an Electrode. So, in conclusion for the Mega Garchomp box, we had some pretty decent stuff. We got a Bursting Balloon, which was really good, Spirit Tomb Reverse Rare, Mega Blastoise EX from Base Set, and then we got the Venusaur EX. So, I'd have to say that box was a little bit better than the Swampert one. I'd have to say my, uh, yeah, I, that's definitely, like, that's obvious. But, anyways, now it is time for the Mega Salamence. Oh, man, let's see. Can Steam Siege keep our luck going? Is it physically possible? Here is a code. Now, card trick, three and two. We got a Yanma. Chimchar, Bergmite, Clauncher, Seedot, Duot, Hawlucha, Anorith, Litwick Reverse, and a Hollow Bisharp. Not bad for the first pack. Put it in a sleeve, and yeah, that's not bad. Steam Siege giving us a little bit of something. Okay, really, I just dropped the sleeve. <laughs> Alright, I'll just sleeve it off camera. Makes things a little bit easier. Alright, 
There you go. All right, so we'll put this off to the side. A lot of cards just lying around here from just from these boxes. It's crazy. Breakthrough! All right. We'll go. Here you go. Code. We got a Cubone. Oh, it looks really sad. Snubble. Cacnea. Okay, really? I couldn't talk there. Cacnea. Scatterbug, Rufflet, Behem, Granbull, Judge, Cacturn, Reverse Uncommon, and the rare is a Smeargle. Smeargle's not that impressive, but oh well, what can you do? And I just dropped a bunch of cards. Oh well, I'll pick those up later. Steam Siege! Can it keep the luck going? I highly doubt it, because Steam Siege, really, it's not, it's not it doesn't, we don't have a love-hate relationship, but I don't know. It just seems like our, our luck is just not that good. Don't know why, but I don't know. It's not awful, I guess. Our Steam Siege booster box was good. Our Elite Trainer box was awful, but whatever. Meowth, Clauncher, Shellos, Rufflet, Chimchar, Halucha, Anorith. Okay, really. Cloth Fossil Anorith, and a Duat Reverse, and the rare is a Jump Off. That's three Jump Offs in the same video. What the heck? Huh. <sighs> Okay, so we'll, we'll do some evolutions. Evolutions, I don't know. They'll, it'll give me luck. It'll give me luck. Okay, really? This is... Really? Why is it opening up so weird? Something with the glue. It's really nasty. <laughs> oh, well. Alright. So. Alright, and oh my gosh. Look at that card right there. The rare looks complete... Just look at that. That's That's bad. <laughs> Oh man, let's hope it's not anything amazing. Okay, oh no, I think I saw like a shine or something. That can't be good. Well, it's good to get an EX, but it's yeah, it's not in good shape. Ugh. Pikachu, Doduo, Caterpie, Drowsy, Diglett, Poliwhirl, Charizard Spirit Link, Charmeleon, Switch Reverse, and... Okay, Slowbro EX. Alright, I already have enough of those as is. In fact, actually I traded them away to Admin Ampharos because he made a Slowbro deck. But if it was something like a Mega Charizard that got completely damaged, that would be kind of upsetting, but I don't know. It's fine. In fact, I'll just put a top loader on this layer, just because it'll save some time. Yeah, and it takes forever to put top loaders on those. But hey, Slowbro EX, not bad. Let's see. What the heck? What is it with these packs having, like, extra glue or something? Ah. Okay. So, let's see. Can there be anything good in this pack? Hey, Pikachu. Poliwag, Caterpie, Diglett, Voltorb, Full Heal, Porygon, Pidgeot Spirit Link, Raticate Reverse Rare, nice, and the rare is a Dugong. Oh, I was due for a Dugong. That is not even funny. Okay, Breakpoint. Come on, buddy. You can do this. Maybe give you some luck this time around. Alright. So, three and two. We got a Cricketot. Petalil, Drowsy, Corsola, Froki, Nuzleaf, Mawile, Sudowoodo, Esper Reverse, and the rare is another Raticate, and it's miscut. Alright. That's something. Now it is time. Ooh. Let's save the base set for last. Because last time we had opened up base set, we got something good out of it. So, you know what? I'll take it. Let's do it. Okay. So. We got a Metatite, Clampearl, Bidoof, Tangela, Shroomish, Tentacool, Dive Ball, that is a great card, put that off to the side, Whiskash, Kyogre Spirit Link, and the rare is, okay really, a Walrein. So there's nothing there of importance. And now it is time for X and Y base set. Okay, that one opened up all right, I guess. <laughs> All right, so, card trick three and two. Luddy Buff, Lillipop, Froki, Sandile, Diglett, Great Ball, Girder, Team Flare Grunt, Dodrio Reverse, which is an uncommon, and the rare is a B-Barrel. So, let's go over the conclusion for our uh, box here. So, let's see, okay. So we got ourselves a Dive Ball, Eradicate Reverse Rare, a Bisharp Hollow, 
and a Slowbro EX. So it seems like on average we're getting about two holo cards per box, which is below average. Actually, is it? Eh, no, I guess that's about right then. Yeah, because one, yeah, we get eight packs. Two, okay, so there's that off chance that we can get a third holo. So I guess all of our boxes so far has had an EX of some sort. So I, that's, I'm not complaining. So now it is time for the Mega Beedrill packs. So we're gonna start with Fates Collide. Okay, can we get a few ends? Let's see, what's another good card out of this set? A Secret Rare Alakazam? Or even any Alakazam, whatever. And now we got a Diglett, Larvitar, Carbink, wait, yeah, this one has Safeguard. So prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's Pokemon EX. Very good. Jigglypuff, Riolu, Kabuto, Omanite, Scorched Earth, Mr. Mime, Reverse Rare, and the rare is a Hollow Curum. Nice! That is a very, very cool card. I did pull a couple of those. In fact, I did trade one over to Neil Admin Ampharos at one point, so now I have two again. But still, very good, very good way to start off. I think there's only one box where you didn't have a Hollow or better in the first pack. So that's something. So let's see, how many, is that our last Steam Siege? No, we have one more Steam Siege after this. Okay, I was about to say this is the last Steam Siege, but whatever. Let's see, wow, that, uh, just these packs are not opening up well. Okay, so, card trick. We got a Nose Pass, Chimchar, Nidoran Mail, Clauncher, Fletchling, Claw Fossil Ranrith, Zwilus, Drift Blim, Nidoran Reverse, did we get, yeah, two Nidoran, one pack, holy cow, and the rare is a Hollow Clang Clang, not bad at all, not a very valuable Hollow, but still, I don't mind it, very good card, now, it is time for Breakthrough, we still haven't gotten anything out of Breakthrough, so, we, we have to be due for something, come on, well, we haven't gotten anything from Primal Clash, but still, I don't know, okay, so, three and two, Oh, it looks like we have a miscut on the hollow rare. Or, it's not a hollow rare, I have no idea what it is, but just a hollow card. So that's something. Cyndaquil, Goldeen, Starly, Chespin. Can we get three Chespin one pack? Woobat, Woobat, Go Goat, Mewtwo Spirit Link, Fennec in Reverse, which is miscut. And the rare is a Meloetta Hollow. So we got three hollows in a row out of this Beedrill box. Huh. It looks like it's slightly miscut. But still, not bad with that accelerating spin in Primal Rondo. If I said that right. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything. Let's see. Breakthrough once again. All right. Three and two. In fact, you know what? I didn't actually give any code cards yet for this box. So here, take that one. All right. We got a Cacnea, Spritzy, Ghastly, Doduo, Paris, Frogadier, Staravia, Staravia, Professor's Letter, Magneton Reverse, which is an uncommon, and the rare is a Cresselia. Two packs left of this opening. Steam Siege. Come on, Steam Siege. In fact, we already got more than what was, like, more than the average for a box. I don't know if we'll get anything else out of this, but it'd still be cool if we got something else here, too. If not, oh well. So, yes, we'll do the pack trick. Now, we got a Fletchling, Hopip, Sneasel, Mantine, Mankey, Azumarill, Captivating Pokepuff, Lampant, Xerneas Reverse Rare, that's pretty good, and the rare is a Talonflame! Dang, that's awesome! Okay. That is, yeah, you know what, that's probably one of the best non hollow rares you can get out of Steam Siege. That and Volcanion. Alright, so final pack. Oh boy. So, so far, pretty much all the packs we've gotten on the Beedrill box have been extremely solid. So can we end it off on an excellent note? That would be phenomenal. Okay, Diglett, Larvitar, Carbink again, Burmy, Bronzor, Brakeson, Scorched Earth, Old Amber Aerodactyl, Riola Reverse, and an Alakazam EX with the Kinesis and Suppression. Dang! Dang, that's awesome. So we got a lot of hollow cards, a lot of valuable ones out of the Mega Beedrill and it had less packs. Wow, that is something. 
That is amazing. What? Okay, so I'll get a uh, conclusion created and then I'll be right back. Okay, so for the conclusion of this video, we got quite a bit of holo cards out of these these four boxes. Was it really worth getting all four boxes for the price I got them? Eh, not really. And mainly because I got the Mega Salamence box is 50 bucks and we got... We got a Dive Ball, which is a very good card. I'll make sure it focuses. There we go. Raticate Reverse, Bisharp Hollow, Slowbro EX. And, I mean, yeah, that's definitely not worth as much as the box, but it was very fun to open. Then the Mega Garchomp, I mean, it was a little bit better. We got a uh, Spirit Tomb Reverse, Bursting Balloon, Mega Blastoise EX, and a Mega Venusaur. I mean, that one, that one was also 50 bucks, so was it really worth the $50? Not really, but it was fun. Then we have the Swampert Box with a Hollow Milotic which was pretty good, a Floatstone, a Skyfield, which was very cool, that was a reverse, and then a Mega Ampharos EX, and that one was worth $60, so was that worth it? Eh, not really. And then, the Mega Beedrill box, which was insane, I got it for about 40 and yeah, <laughs> we got ourselves a White Kiram Hollow, Kling Kling Hollow, Melowata Hollow, Talonflame, Mr. Mime Reverse, Xerneas Reverse, and then an Alakazam EX. So the most cost efficient box was definitely the Mega Beedrill EX. But yet again, whatever. That was definitely fun to open. And yeah, I hope a lot of people got some good codes out of this, you know, this opening. And if you didn't, that's okay, because coming up soon, we will have a, uh, a code card giveaway when Sun and Moon Base Set comes out. You know, I, I do like to give away some code cards and videos, but I know that people just like to snipe all of them. Which, I don't really like seeing that happen, but you know, it's just, that happens. It's just when, I mean, the temptation's there. It's like, oh, there's enough codes there, I could snag them all before anyone else, ugh. But you know, whatever. Anyways, I didn't really get to show these off, but here, I'm not gonna open all these up. In fact, uh, we're gonna open up the Mega Garchomp and the Mega Salamence. So anyways, here's the Mega Garchomp <laughs> mat here. Very cool mat, I really do like it. And then we have the Mega Salamence one, which is, I think this one will probably be my new Pokemon card opening mat. I don't know, you guys decide. Which one should I use, the Mega Salamence or the Mega Garchomp? And I just bu bumped the microphone, ha, huh, that's funny. But yes, there's all that. And then right here is the Swampert uh, play mat. I'll have something at the beginning of the video mentioning that I have a giveaway for this. And yeah, uh, yeah, be sure to participate. You'll have a chance of winning this and a business card from me. So that's really cool. This will be about two weeks. Yeah, be sure to go watch the beginning of the video if you want to know more about this giveaway. But yeah, be sure to enter. I would like to see you know you guys join and participate. Anyways, that's the end of this opening. If you enjoyed this New Year's special, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new. And yeah, Happy New Year's, everyone. See you guys later.